All right, so this is the potentiometer that we uh, that I took out of the uh, combined. Um, it does the uh, sensing fingers on the bottom of the table, and also it does the uh, level for the uh, auto level, so that it knows where the plate is on the front, where it's level. So you've got three of these: one in one at either end of the actual cutting table and then one on the plate that moves the table from side to side. Now I've put three new ones in. One had broken here and the others would appear to have something wrong to them and now this is one of the roof, one of the old ones so I was just going to show you what I did to, to see what was wrong with it. So this um, goes up to a thousand ohms as I understand it. So you get your multimeter, swing that around to <coughs> 2000 here, looks the right sort of scale to me. Now I had a bit of trouble, I could have done with little crocodile clips or something, but they're buried, the pins are buried deep in here. And I found these little uh, badges here worked really well. If you slot them in, um, it, it's pin one, and uh, as I understand, it doesn't matter what end one, but you need the middle one. So you put them in there, and they'll make a contact with it. Uh, okay, now, so you push these into there suddenly you've got a reading. Now, what I found was, so it's got to go smoothly. So as you can see, it's counting down there. In the instruction book, it's telling you to set it at 500, which is a, the combine reads 2 volts. So as you're swinging it around here to sort of get to 500, it all seems to be working quite nicely although it's a little bit jerky on this shaft. And then suddenly, it's all over the place. So it's coming down, it was 700, and then it jumps all over the place, and then it goes nice again. Now the new ones just run smoothly, right from 1,000 all the way down. As you turn them, and it just counts down sweetly. But this, look, it's jumping up to one nine hundred, and then back to normal. So we can safely say that that is confusing the combined massively. Now I've got another one here because I replaced, as I said, I replaced three. One was broken, but two of them externally look fine. So again, we'll connect it up. No, that's not on. No. Alright, there we go. Nice and smoothly round, full resistance, it's coming down from a thousand ohms. Gets near the 500 mark and then suddenly it's, it's jumping everywhere. And then it's back around the 300, 200 working nicely. So it's just in that area where it's been working i assume what's happened is it's so around that 500 it's set and then it's just moving slightly like a quarter of a turn maybe uh in that area that's where it's been working at and it's just worn something out in the potentiometer in here on both of them so um anyway i put the new ones on and the thing works perfectly so there you go it's a shame you can't don't know what they are or or where you know because it's got to have the right connections. 
but these are um, I actually got them cheap for Massey Ferguson Park. They're 125 each. Um, so it all adds up. But that's how you can check them. They, you put a multimeter on and check they run smoothly through the range, which obviously these two don't.